can oh man this could be good storage auction day online storage auction day and I bought the unit behind me for $70 good investment bad investment will I come out a winner or will it be just trash one way to find out let's get in there and see what we have all right so this is pretty heavy and it kind of looks like there might be leather purses um, if I can get it open, we shall see. Oh man. Wow. These are all filled. There's a lighter. Jeez, this is like a whole bag of purses. Or maybe not. Maybe there's some clothes. Oh, coach? Is that real? Oof, this has been in here for a while. What the heck are those? Oh my gosh, there's something. I don't know. Yeah, is this... Oh, there's more money. The baby? Baby? Look at this. What bag is this? Nine West. Sorry, that's not another. This one's nice. So it was never. This one has a tag in it. Never used. What's this one? Contractor. Madison West. No idea. But if, if I need a purse, I'm, I'm stocked. Ooh, this one's cute. Um, this looks like from a coach. It's not the receipt in there, I don't think. But the handles are all on the bottom. Echinacea. Oh, they're pills? There's clothes, too. This purse is another purse filled with purses. And more paperwork, more credit cards. This is crazy. I know many of you, you don't like storage units because you do wonder what happened to the people. Some of them, they don't want this stuff. I've actually spoken to someone in um, that works for U-Haul and they said that they've contacted people multiple times willing to give them their stuff for free. And they just say, no, I, I don't have room. I don't want it. So, what kind of purse is this? You never know the story. And it is sad. I, you know, I agree, but what, what are you going to do? I don't know what kind of purse this is, but this looks pretty fancy. Danielle. I'm going to show this off camera first. Oh, it's makeup. Jewelry. Is this a ring? I don't think that's any... <laughs> Is it marked? I can't. My, I have my contacts in, so I can't tell. Oh, it says, oh, they might, they might be. I don't see a mark with that. All sorts of little things. This is all clothing. Or another bag of bags. Mount Airy. I don't know, I might go to casinos, I guess. Oh my gosh, this is full. There's their high school. 
Nautica. Is there a phone in here? There is. XO. More change. Jessica Simpson. Jeez. I have a lot of credit cards to return to the front desk. More makeup. I like this one. Vogue. Well, at least there's, I mean, there's mostly change. I haven't seen any bills. That's empty. Oh, air fresheners. New car scent. Cards. What's this? A wig. Hmm. If I want to grow my hair out. Another, another phone. That's an oldie. And another phone. What in the world? How many phones does one need? Man. Look at this purse. That's nice. What brand is that? All Galleon? Galleon, New York? These have never been used. Maybe. Rossetti. That's like a Kohl's brand. Unbelievable. Alright, now we'll see what's in this big one. Oh, can't show it. Well. I can't. Oh, man. This could be good. It's an NBA, an NBA jacket. Oh boy. Oh, it's a Nike, but I don't know. New York. This looks like it wasn't cheap. <laughs> I have no idea. Nike Team, 2XL, New York. No clue, but it does not look like it was just a $5 jacket. Then there is another jacket. This is like a windbreaker. NFL, the Jets. There's more clothes. What's this one? A jersey? New York NBA jersey. Fifty-two. Again, this does not look cheap. I'm, I'm sure I have my money back. I must. <laughs> and many of you, you know, you question why I do these because what are the odds of finding vintage items and old items in a locker? There's probably high odds. You just never know, and it, it is like a treasure hunt, just like at a flea market or an estate sale. And also by doing storage units, I'm learning more about what um, is what things are worth, because you'll all be telling me. Looks like we have some pants. Now there are personal photos in the bottom, so I'm not going to show those. Cuba Vera. Pebble Beach, these can all get donated and Wrangler jeans. Interesting on the jackets though. Oh, there's one more. Just a Nike golf shirt. What are these worth? You tell me. Alrighty, move some stuff out of my way. Let's see what's in here. Gloves. Ooh, nice gloves. These will probably all get donated. It just looks like, yeah, Faded Glory, Old Navy jeans, a Beck, I don't know what that is. River 
Riverside Health Fitness. So, all donatable, which is what I will do. Um, now, if these were vintage clothes, that would be different, but they're not. So, they can be donated and be reused that way. This is open. JR Pulse series uh, tennis. Oh no. <laughs> What's in here? Oh, a baseball. Silver. Easton Rebel. This looks like a nice bat. Tennis. <laughs> I did go to tennis camp. That looks pretty nice, actually. figure out the life of this person. Oh, this looks nice. A Rawlings mitt. Looks like it was never used. Some gloves. And some baseballs. Still in the wrapper. Franklin. Major League Baseball. Chrome. Outdoor, indoor. Another good flea market piece. This looks like maybe more personal paperwork, yeah. Wonder Woman? Wonder Woman. Treasure Woman. <laughs> yeah, that's personal stuff in there. Um, I think this is a pillow. But we'll double check. Oh, it might be for the beach. Yes, I believe that's what it is. For the beach, and we have two bags left. It looks like another bag with sporting equipment, and then a Panera bread bag. Let's hope there's not food in that. Oh, this is, they must have worked for Panera bread, I guess. This is a Panera bread duffel bag. I've never seen before. And then a Panera Bread book bag, which is actually pretty nice. Hmm. A whole Panera Bread collection. Yankees. Monkey and a Great Wolf Lodge bear. Brinks. And last but not least, oh, Star Wars Darth Vader figure, and then this guy, which I'm going to assume is more baseball, not tennis. And I was right. More gloves. I know nothing about. <laughs> but hey, these must be worth a couple of bucks. I know, probably more. More baseball gloves. I have some cleats. Off. There's some baseballs in there. Of course. that's it. So that wraps it up for this storage unit. What a unit it was. It ran the gamut. We have Nintendo, we have coach purses, um, a Wii, baseball items, and some change. And the lights went off. back on so as i was saying this was a good unit oh and those jackets too so 70 dollars. i think i definitely made my money back and i'll be able to learn something about baseball gloves and baseball bats and purses too so i hope you enjoyed this if you did be sure to click on that like button subscribe if you have not for more adventures whether they are storage auctions estate sales 
regular auctions or garbage picking, my favorite. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this. Share with your friends, family, fellow storage auction hunters, and I will see you all in the next episode. Thank you.